Hey everybody, it's Tara. I'm about to show you some really easy ways to use Typecraft in Canva. So this is your Canva interface when you open it. So where do we actually find the Typecraft? So Typecraft is actually an app within Canva. So on the home page, you can either click on apps and this is generally, this area here is generally um, the latest stuff that has been um, released by Canva. So Typecraft is um, out a little while, so we're just going to key in Typecraft and then it will show you the app here. So when you click on the app, it will bring you to this screen and this screen will ask you to either whether you want to use it in an existing design or use it in a new design. So then you can you can either select a custom size or you can you can pick one that's um, predetermined like um, the Instagram or the Facebook post. So we're going to pick Facebook post landscape. And then when your screen is open, you will already be in the Typecraft app. So you can start using it straight away. So I'll just show you how, um, how to get to it just in case you were within a project and you wanted to start using it. So it's already here because it's one that I, I use quite a lot, but you can click in the apps and same kind of thing. You just you just search for it and it should once you key in three or four letters, it will come up as um, as in the list and then you just click, click on Typecraft. So there are the two, two or three different ways that you, you can get to it. So then once we're here, we can start using it. So the fantastic thing about this app is that it's free. It's part of the free Canva version, which is which is brilliant. So um, so as I say, this is the interface that you when you click on the app, this is what you get. So up here, this is the the text that you um, that that you want to alter. So we're just gonna go balloon, and you can see then that it changes down in the actual box down below. You can check um, which you can have a whole different range of different fonts and it'll change then in the box below and so you just just pick whichever one you like so you can have none you can have unfilled or you can have outline and then also the color you can change the color to make it red so you can see and then if you go with the outline you also have um, the option to do a border and then the selection of the border color. So we're just going to have we're just going to have none for the moment. So once you have um, typed your word, and then you just add element to design, and then it appears on your um, on your project board. So when you've typed your word and it appears down here, this is where you can edit the shape into all of the different kind of um, shapes. So I'll just show you um, without without any background or anything. So if we wanted to make the word like this, I just bring that down slightly and I'm just going to make it just to show you. So it, it, it will only change on screen when you update the element. So uh, and then you can you can change the bottom ones as well. And it will change change on screen. So it's really good. It's a really good effect, um, and it's really great for putting within shapes when you want to put words inside shapes, which is what we're going to do now. I'm going to show you how to actually put them within a shape. So this is what I mean when you can put um, the Typecraft app to use. So um, it's pretty effective. So we're going to. I'm just going to go through how we actually create this. So I'm just going to add a page. And so the first thing we're going to look for is a balloon in elements. <clears throat> and we're going to click on graphics and we're going to go balloon. So we're looking for an actual balloon as opposed to a um, balloon, balloon font type. So, so we're going to go with this one here. We're just going to make them a bit smaller so you can see that um so it has a kind of nice curve on us so we're going to put some we're going to put some letters in there we're going to say happy birthday so we're going to go down to our type craft and the first one we're going to do is happy okay 
Okay, and we're going to select the font type. And that's probably that's probably okay. So you can change it afterwards if you if you don't if you don't like it. So the first thing we're going to do is going to add it to the element, add the element to the design first, and then we're going to make it fit the shape of the balloon. So click on add element. And there it is. And we're going to push, we're going to go happy, and then we're going to go birthday. So we're just going to turn this slightly. And put it in there. I'm going to make it slightly bigger. And then once you're happy with the position of it, then you can go back to your edit shape box and actually start to uh, move the little nodes up and down to try and get it to fit into the shape. So we're just going to, it just takes a, it takes a bit of patience just to kind of, to kind of get it there. So each time you move it, you just click on update element and then it will change on screen. So, so that's actually not too bad. It's kind of taken the shape of the, the balloon at the top. Um, and then at the bottom, we're just going to bring it down slightly. And update element again. So we're just going to move it again, and then you just click off, so you're not um, you're not in that that word happy anymore. And we're gonna we're gonna put another one underneath it, and this one we're gonna say is birthday. So we're gonna go for the same font which was fabulous and you just have to key in a couple of letters and it'll go and find it for you. And again, we're going to click on the element and we're going to place it in position before, before we start uh, moving the nodes around. So we're just kind of going to put it here maybe. And, and then we're going to start moving. these down like this. So as I say, it just takes it takes a little while for you to kind of get used to where the where the pull points are. So um and you don't want it to look you don't want it to look kind of wonky either. So um but as I say the more you play with it the more time you spend on it the, the better you get for, for what it's going to look like. So so we might want to just bring the B up, this down maybe, and then this back up. Update. Yeah, so that's looking pretty good. And then just bring this down a little more. And I just tilt it slightly. And then, I mean, there's nothing to say that you can't go back in and, and change these slightly, just to make them a bit more cohesive together. So then what we're going to do is we're going to change the color of the text. So we're going to make it a kind of pinky color, like this. And then we're going to make the birthday, we're going to make it white, an update element. So already it's looking, you know, much better than just a, a flat balloon. So then what we're going to do is we're going to grab all of them and we're going to duplicate it. And then we're just going to place it down here. And we're going to maybe make it slightly bigger. And we're going to tilt it slightly. And then we're going to change the color. So for every graphic that you place on your artboard, you always get um, a selection of colors at the top. So we're going to try and change the red. We're going to make it pink. And we're going to change the happy color to uh, we're going to bring it into the pink zone. And we're going to make it maybe this color here. And then update element. I mean, it, you can always go back in and change them anyway. It's not like you're, it's not like it's stuck in mode like. So, um, and then we're just going to go again. And we're going to duplicate that again. 
I'm going to move it over here and we're just going to tilt it this way. And then again, we're going to make this color maybe purple. So we're just going to change the color of this happy to maybe a more lilac -y color. And just update your element again. So as I say, you can play around with them and make them make them fit a bit better or but they you know for a for their birthday invitation or for an announcement um it looks pretty cool so then the last thing we're just going to do is we're just going to put a background on it so if you go into elements and we go into click here and we go into graphics and if we put in a party background Okay, you get this whole selection of different kind of backgrounds. It's it's fantastic. Like you'd never you'd never run out of them. It's just they just go on and on. So maybe this one um, is the one we used the last time. So then you just fill it to the size. And you can kind of move it over or whatever. And then when you right click on it, and we're going to set image as background. So this was a quick and easy project to do in Canva and using Typecraft. I'm going to show you something just a little bit more involved, but equally as effective. So this is the next project we're going to do. Basically, it's a banana with banana written on it, um, but the letters are all cut out. So um, you can see through the background and the background can be whatever you wish it to be. It's really effective, I think, and really stands out. So the first thing we need to do for this project is to go and find a banana. So over in Elements, you can um, you can search in Graphics or Photos um, for for a banana. Um, I have kind of one I picked already, um, but there's there's a huge amount. Like you'd never. <laughs> It depends on what kind of banana you're looking for, or you know, it doesn't necessarily need to be a banana. Like it could be, it could be any kind of shape. I'm just showing you um, with with a banana picture, just so you get the idea. So this is the one I'm going to pick. So this is part of the pro version. It's a it's a pro Canva Pro pick, um, but there are lots of um, free, obviously loads of free images available as well. So once you have your image in position, we're going to click on Typecraft and we're going to start adding some text. So we're going to type B-A-N-A-N-A -A -N -A. and as I said before in the last little tutorial, it, it appears down here and then you're going to pick whatever font it is that you, you wish to have on your banana or on your shape. So we're going to pick Frenzo123. And then before we start re resizing it or reshaping it, we're going to add the element to the design. So we're just going to move that up here and we're going to just tilt it slightly and we're going to make it bigger. So once you're happy with the position and the font, we're going to start adding the Typecraft shape to it. So we're just going to start pulling these down slightly and just so we have a, a bit of a bend in it. And after you've done each move, don't forget to click update element. And then you can see like how your how your shape is coming along. So that's probably a bit too bendy. And update again. And then we're going to add a bit at the top. And as it starts to take shape, you can then start to move it around just so it fits better within the space but as i say after each after each go just click on the click on the update element so not doing too badly there
Need to move the little A up a little. Okay, so I think we're probably we're probably nearly there. So what we're going to do also is we're going to make the color of the text white. So once you're happy with the shape and where your text is, we're going to go to the top and we're going to click share and we're going to hit download. And we need to make sure that you're on the right page. So if you deselect all pages one to five and then we just go to the page that we're on, which is page four, click done and click download. And once it has saved, we go to uploads and click on upload files and you go and get it from wherever you've saved it from. And we're just gonna add this to a blank page. We're gonna make sure that it's fully stretched to fit the whole of this area. And then we're gonna edit photo and we're gonna click on background remover. So although it doesn't look like it has um, done anything, in actual fact, it has, because when we add a background, so we're going to add a background of, I'm going to click on photos, and we're going to add a background of some palm trees, and we're going to click on this one maybe, and we're going to put it up here, I'm going to make it, so that's the full shape, and I over a bit and then we're going to position send to the back and you can see then that your banana is is see-through which is pretty cool I think so if you didn't want an image behind it you can do something um, also a bit funky you could put a shadow be below it so um, we're just gonna we're just gonna position this I just move the banana for a second and then we're gonna just dump this drop the leaves and if you go into your elements again and search for shadow, you get all these um, again, some of them are pro, some of them are some of them are free. So if you if we click on this one, we can have it so um, so it's just like the shadow of the banana, which is pretty cool as well. Um, or you can just add a shape and you can make it kind of a funky color. If we make it like, uh, let's pick a color on here, make it like orange, and again, position, and we just make that behind it. And it looks pretty cool, I think. And then you could also add your shadow to it. Like it's really, it's really effective. It really stands out. I think it's super. Typecraft is is a really good way of um, making an object stand out. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you're interested in discovering more about Canva, then check out my other videos. And don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button.